Hi everyone, I wanted to show you um, some new things that are going to be on Seesaw starting next week. Um, so I am using a practice class so that you could see it from a student's point of view. Um, so when you first open Seesaw, yours will look a little bit different because you'll have a journal feed if you've been doing some work. Um, and you're going to want to go to activities. So um, starting on Monday, each day I will assign in activities a daily schedule and a daily notebook. So let's look at the, the schedule first. So you're going to just click on it. If you want, you can read the directions or play it um, so your child can here are the directions, and once you're ready to just look at it, you press add response. So for the daily schedule, you actually don't need to respond or do anything. It's just for you to look at, and none of the pieces are movable. So it'll just stay just like this. You don't need to add anything to it, and you don't need to um, do anything and press the green check or submit anything. This is just for you to look at and you'll get one each morning. Um, even though it's assigned as an activity, it's not really like an assignment, it's just for you to refer to each day. So the schedule each day will pretty much stay the same. Um, we'll kind of see how it works and maybe change it if we need to, but for now we'll try this out. So you'll just follow along with the steps, one, two, three, four, five, um, during the school day with me, and then six is that independent work that they do after all of the Zooms are over. And the only link here is the Zoom link, so if you're in this activity, you can click on the, any of the Zoom pictures and it will take you to our Zoom. Um, for number two, that's our ELA block from 8.50 to 9.45. And I'll be letting you know which group your child is in, group A, B, or C. So if they're group A, you'll look at this, group B, and group C. And underneath, it'll tell you what materials to bring for that day. So on Monday, they'll bring their ABC journal, crayons, and a pencil to the Zoom meeting. So if they're in group A, it says what time they can come to the Zoom. The Zoom will be about 15 or 20 minutes. And after that Zoom, they can do their daily Seesaw notebook, which is also in activities assigned daily. And then if they finish that, um, they can do core five. So the um, this is kind of the order that you wanna go in because it's more important that they finish core, um, the notebook than move on to core five but um, they will have time later in the math block to continue working on the notebook. So they don't have to finish the whole notebook during that hour. And actually, if they still need time after, they can do it during the independent work at the end of the day too. So they don't have to do the whole notebook during this hour. There will be an ELA tab in the notebook, and I'll be showing you how, uh, how the notebook works right after this. But um, they can kind of work on the notebook and maybe for like 15 or 20 minutes and then do core five for 15 or 20 minutes. Um, these don't have to be so specific as far as what time they are. The only thing that is more specific is the Zoom time so that they can meet with me. Um, so for group B, for example, they can work on their notebook until it's time for their Zoom and then after their Zoom, they could do core five. So um, then uh, after the ELA block, they can take a break. There's like a snack recess time. And then after that, there's a math block, which is really similar um, structure. It's just gonna be focused on math instead. So during the Zoom, they'll be doing math with me. Um, in their notebook, they can do the math tab and then they can do GG math. Um, and then underneath it'll say what to bring, which will mostly be the Eureka workbook, uh, crayons, and pencil. 
And then after that, at the end, we'll do our closing meeting. And after the closing meeting, then here is some independent work they can do. So they can um, work on the daily kindergarten workbook. Um, and the pages are numbered. It's a little hard to see the numbers, but one side of a page is one, and then the back is two. So it's not two full sheets of paper. Pages one through two is a front and a back, and that's it for that day. And then um, it'll tell you what letter handwriting page, practice page to do. So we were do gonna be doing the ABC journal during small groups. If they didn't finish during that time, they can also work on that afterwards. And then there's a, an extra handwriting packet that was given to you that they can do that letter that goes with that day. And then maybe finish anything from the daily Seesaw notebook. So that is how the schedule works each day. Um, you don't have to submit anything, so. You can just click out like that. And then for the notebook, um, again, there's written instructions or you can play the instructions and listen to them. It would probably be a good idea to have your child listen to the instructions. Um, and you're probably gonna have to help them a, um, a little bit until they get used to the notebook and everything. So once you're ready to add a response, you just click here. And so the notebook, I can add different tabs. So it might not always be these subjects. Um, I can even maybe add a fourth one sometimes, but the um, tabs have links. So you can just click next to the tab um, and it'll take you to that part of the notebook. So we can start at math, um, but you also have this over here to the side to um, just click over here too. And sometimes if it's closed like that, you can just click here to pull it out again. So in the math tab for Monday, um, this is actually what you'll be seeing on Monday. Um, there's gonna be, for every subject, there will be two pages. There will be a page with videos and then there will be a page with like a worksheet. And so for this math, this is the lesson area where they can watch these videos. And I just linked this one again in case you didn't watch it. This one is a video with me talking about counting carefully. And then here's also a video about 10 frames, um, just introducing them to 10 frames. Um, and I just have this here because sometimes the little link symbol kind of disappears. So they can always know where to click. If you click the, the actual image, it's not going to do anything. You have to actually click the little link symbol. Okay, so you watch the videos and then you can go to page three and they would just do this worksheet. They could use the, the um, writing tools at the bottom here. Then they go to ELA. Um, this is a video about the letter T. And after they watch the video, they can come and do um, the actual work. And so this will take them to the boom card. If you did the interactive um, virtual classroom this week, then you might have tried the boom card. Um, it'll take them, let's see if this works. It will take them to a game, but I actually might be signed in as a teacher, so. Okay, so um, it'll go with the letter. They can play the directions. I'm not going to play the whole game. Um, you can go forward, and then it'll say, listen to all the pictures. Um, I'm not going to do the whole game right now, but you can see that is what it looks like, except when you do it, you'll have to enter a pin. Um, I didn't because I think I'm still signed in as the teacher. So yours might look a little bit different, but it's supposed to be like a self-checking game. And it should have about 10 like cards. So it's like a deck of cards. Um, and 
Some of them you might want to look on the side to click submit. I could show you that actually. Well, maybe I'll do a separate video. Okay, so then you can do the, the worksheet and then go to the next one. And then for this is like social emotional learning. So they can watch the video. It's a read aloud. And then there might be like a response area where they could draw a picture on paper and take a photo of it and show it to me here. Or maybe they could just use the tools down here to draw a picture. Or they could even um, record a video of themselves depending on what the prompt is. And then when you're all done, you just click the green check to submit it. And then I will get it and approve it.